Hey everyone and welcome back. Never in the history of my channel have I filmed a wedding, edited a full tutorial, and posted on YouTube within a day, but I am just so excited to share this mirrored set with you. In this video, I'll be sharing my favorite supplies for DIY wedding signs, how I made this signage set, and a behind the scenes setup on wedding day. All of the supplies are linked below in the video description, along with a discount for the fonts and SVGs used today. So I start in my office by gathering all of my mirrors together so I have a better idea what I am working with and exact measurements for Cricut Design Space. The signage set is a rental order and I work with the couple on finding perfect fonts for their wedding day. About a month before their wedding, I share a questionnaire to gather details about their wedding. I get copies of their invites and mood boards just to get a better idea of their wedding style. These are the three font sets I narrowed down to and the couple went with number one. I then send back a full demo of their designs for final approval. This is how everything looked but the seating chart as we had to make last minute updates pretty much up until the day before the wedding. With larger projects like this, I do like working in sections, designing everything all together, then cutting all of my vinyl at once, then weeding it all, then adding my transfer tape, etc. After my vinyl is cut, I also like slicing in between the rows of the words just to help release the vinyl a little bit more. And also whenever I'm working with large projects like this, sometimes I will have like 10 to 15 mats of vinyl to weed and that can take up a lot of time. So sometimes I will sit down, turn on a TV show or a podcast. I'm currently obsessed with H3. It just helps pass the time. Once all my vinyl is weeded, I apply my transfer tape, then peel each from their mat. I trim between each decal and any extra off so they are easier to work with and apply to my mirrors. Now that all my vinyl decals are prepped, it is time to apply them to my mirrors. I start by cleaning off any dirt and residue with rubbing alcohol. The sign was recently used at another wedding, so I did have to peel all of the lettering off from that, and it did leave quite a lot of residue. Um, if you are using a sign that does have lettering on it already, um, check out my video on how to remove vinyl lettering from your signs. It is super easy, it just takes a little bit of time, and of course, cleaning it properly afterwards. I get my decals on the sign and in the position that I want, then I use the hinging method to apply. This hinging method is super easy once you do it a few times. I'm basically just adding a piece of masking tape in the middle of my decal and attaching that to the sign in the position that I want my decal. I then peel back the vinyl part, cut off the half of the backing. Then I end up peeling off the masking tape totally, peeling back the other side, and then adhering that down to my sign. I do the same to the rest of my decals, then peel off the transfer tape.
Mirrors sometimes highlight imperfections and sometimes there is a tiny bit of residue left over from the transfer tape. To get rid of that, I use a paper towel and more rubbing alcohol to remove any of that from the mirror. And then I polish that off with some glass cleaner. Sometimes from the paper towel though, you can get little fuzzies on there. So I then take a duster to get any of those off. It is definitely a process to get these mirrors perfectly clean, but it is worth it and your photographer will be so grateful. Next up, we have the signature cocktail sign with these SVG cutouts. If you are interested in learning how to print and cut these for yourself, check out my most recent tutorial. It's actually doing this with my own pet's faces, so you can actually take a photo of pretty much anything and do this. But this is actually SVGs from Creative Fabrica that is included in my monthly subscription. I thought this was fun how it cut around the lime on the strawberry margarita. It did like the cute little twist cutout on it. I was a little nervous peeling it back from my mat, but it did totally fine and it looked adorable on the sign. I referenced back to the approved design when needed and I'm glad that I did because I originally added the drinks in straight up and down and totally forgot that they were supposed to be diagonal. So I adjusted those and used my tape measure to help with aligning my decals. I use the same hinging method to apply. It's just on a much smaller scale. So sometimes I have to move some of the other decals out of the way while I work with the one. For print and cut signs like this, when you are mixing vinyl and printed elements, I would definitely get your vinyl on first. Get your sign totally clean before you add on the paper part because you just can't use any Windex or anything on that once those are on. So I get all of my vinyl on, give that a really good clean, then add my drinks in. The printed part is super easy to work with. It's just like a regular sticker. I just peel that off, stick that right on the mirror, and then smooth that out with my soft scraper. I then start working through my other signs using the same hinging method, cleaning as I go, and then I'm actually wrapping them as well. And how I do that is I'm just taking my shipping paper, I will actually link it in the supplies as well. It is larger, I think 24 by about 36 inches, and I just use masking tape to put that on top of the mirrored part just to protect the lettering. And then I pack these in my car. I try to not stack them if possible, but sometimes I do have to stack them. So I will use blankets, towels, just anything and everything that you can use to keep these signs protected during transport.
This is actually a new sign that I found at a local furniture consignment store. Um, and then this is actually my favorite sign that I have out of all of them. And if you guys are looking for uh, mirrored signs like this, check out your Goodwills, your consignment stores, sometimes you've even estate sales, but those can start getting pretty pricey, so check out your furniture consignment stores first. And we are back for another beautiful day at Woodlands, Colorado. I know there's snow on the ground, but it was super sunny and it was in a low 60s. It was absolutely a gorgeous day for Holly and Dylan. So typically I will get the full signage set, all set up for the wedding planner that I'm working with to approve. Then I will go put everything in its spots. And then that's when I start filming for TikTok and YouTube and just to share content with you guys. I love the blanket setup that they had and this area for the seating chart with pompous grass on either side. I set the love is sweet sign by the dessert table, which is this two barrel setup with the wood topper. We had an amazing vendor team for this event and I will make sure to link all of their information down below in case you are interested in working with any of them. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. A special thanks to my husband Sean who helped set up this wedding day and my little helper who is always assisting in the office. Of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button so we can see you again soon.